Hello to everyone, my name is Lorenzo Spignoli and I'm going to present you Secure Wild Shuffling in the Probing Model, a joint work with the Professor Jean Sebastian Coron at the University of Luxembourg. So, we are in the side channel area uh, where essentially the implementation are not always a true black box. In fact, some adversary may uh, gain some information or recover uh, some sensitive data by monitoring the physical properties of the device. The very first approach for that uh, was discover and fix. That is, whenever a new attack uh, was discovered, then a specific countermeasure for that specific attack would have been found and implemented. This until in 2003, Ishai, Shai and Wegner came out with a new model formalizing and grouping uh, all such side channel attacks. In their model, they provided uh, security notions uh, now considering an adversary uh, which can probe uh, a bounded number of uh, wires in the circuit. Uh, they provided uh, some security notions in terms of a transformer taking a circuit C and resulting in a new different one C prime, uh, which has to respect two properties, soundness and privacy. Soundness uh, guarantees that C and C prime will have the same input output functionalities, while the privacy uh, states that uh, the view of every adversary probing at most T, uh, in, uh, T wires in the circuit can be simulated from scratch. In their paper, they proposed uh, a construction for uh, both perfect privacy and statistical one. Uh, they achieved the, the, the first case, uh, the perfect security against the T-probes through the now well-known masking countermeasures, uh, which is uh, along the circuit now uh, the gates uh, are not dealing directly with the uh, sensitive data A, uh, rather than with the N out of N secret sharing. So whenever a gate uh, process computes some operation, such gate will deal with the shares independently. Uh, in the box, you can see an example of it. Uh, I choose the multiplication. Uh, in fact, the output is a set of n uh, shares, CIs, uh, and such CIs are computed considering some part uh, in part of uh, some uh, input sharing, uh, part uh, with some other variables, uh, uh, but with the probability that with the property that XORing. Uh, all the output shares, the result will be equal to the multiplication of the original uh, signals A and B. They achieved uh, perfect security against the probes with a number of shares equal to uh, 2t plus 1. The only disadvantage of it is the cost, which is quadratic in the number of uh, shares and in turn in the number of uh, probes. In fact, uh, in order to improve such complexity, uh, they relaxed a bit the notion um, of privacy notion, uh, allowing now uh, to the adversary to recover uh, uh, the information, uh, the secret, uh, some secret leakage with some non-zero and very small or negligible probability. As we will see, uh, the, transformer, the transformer will work in uh, two steps. Uh, but at the second of it, uh, the, at the end of the second, the, they will still achieve worst case security uh, will, with uh, quasi-linear complexity. Um, but uh, still, such construction is considered uh, impractical. Uh, in fact, our contribution will be a proposed uh, variant uh, of wire shuffling countermeasure from ESWV, which uh, will achieve linear complexity in the RAM model. We also provided an implementation of it, and as you can see from the figure, uh, our shuffling countermeasures uh, on long range uh, will work much better than the classical masking. 
with a crossing point around uh, six uh, thousand uh, uh, probes. So uh, let's present their construction for the statistical uh, privacy. As I mentioned, the transformer uh, will works uh, will work in two steps. The first one will consider uh, a new security definition, uh, the average case uh, model, uh, or formally the random probing uh, secure, where now the adversary uh, cannot choose which wires uh, he wants to probe, uh, rather than each wire of the circuit will leak independently with some probability p. They uh, show that uh, applying the classical masking against now not T but K probes, uh, where K is uh, the security parameter, and choosing P equal to an omega of 1 over K, then such uh, circuit uh, C prime is indeed P random secure. And the proof for that uh, relied, uh, on the, relied on the chain of bound. Uh, the second, in the second step, uh, the transformer will uh, uh, expand the intermediate circuit, uh, circuit uh, C prime into a larger uh, one, uh, in, and in sort of sense uh, uh, sparser. Uh, so in this way, uh, only a small uh, part of the total uh, wires in the circuit uh, will, will actually take care of the computation. Uh, in particular, uh, each wire I uh, in the circuit C prime uh, and carrying uh, signal V I um, will be replaced in C prime prime um, with a set of uh, new L wires, where uh, all of them will take care of some dummy values, uh, let's say uh, dollar sign, but for one which actually uh, will be the useful part of the computation uh, and uh, it will take care of uh, the signal VI. Uh, which wire uh, will take care of the signal? Uh, it's chosen at random, uniformly at random. So in this way, uh, with T probes, the probability of the adversary uh, of recovering the signal, the original signal, is of course uh, P uh, equal uh, T over L. And the proof uh, of the security uh, is based on the fact that if C prime is secure in the P random probing model, then C prime prime will be secure against T probes. Going a bit deeper uh, in the final uh, circuit C prime, uh, essentially um, each uh, one input gate uh, it's uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, instead, uh, the operation uh, which require uh, two input uh, need a little bit of uh, more attention. In fact, to compute. Uh, the operation between uh, VI and VJ, one must put the, signal, uh, the signals in the same consecutive position. And uh, in the ESWV, uh, they used a sorting network uh, to achieve such property, uh, which has a cost of L log L. And from such, a, from such cost uh, depends the overall complexity of big O T log T for security in the worst uh, case uh, model against T, primes, T probes. And exactly in this part of their construction uh, that uh, we propose a variant and essentially we will modify uh, how to achieve this adjacency uh, property um, and we will improve the overall uh, cost uh, of a logarithmic factor. How, how uh, we did that uh, is essentially uh, the main difference with the ESWV construction is now explicitly compute the, po the position GI of each signal VI. In fact, uh, thanks to that, we can uh, generate at random a new uh, index uh, j prime prime 
we, we have called the shuffling index, and we can um, cyclically uh, shift both the inputs. In this way, uh, shift, shifting uh, the, the inputs uh, with a delta of j prime prime minus j i, in this case, uh, automatically, uh, we will have uh, in the same uh, consecutive position uh, both the signal Vi and Vj. Of course, we, have, we had to uh, slightly uh, change the uh, proof, uh, since now the adversary can probe directly uh, the signal position. The trick here uh, of, of our uh, proof uh, relies on the non-adaptivity um, probes of the stateless uh, model, in, in which the adversary must commit, uh, must declare in advance uh, which are the t-probes he, he wants to uh, read and learn. Uh, so now the adversary, yes, can learn such index, but when he learns it, it's too late. He cannot change uh, the, the chosen, the corrupted wires uh, no more. So the probability of learning uh, the signal will still stay uh, T over L uh, as in the ESWV construction. And that's, uh, that's a, a figure uh, representing the, the new gates uh, uh, and uh, summarizing essentially my, my explanation. So, uh, as I told you uh, before, we uh, have a running time of big O of L in the random model, uh, instead of big O of L log L uh, as introduced and presented in uh, ESWV. You can see uh, from the table um, the comparison between the time complexity and the circuit complexity. And also our countermeasure uh, has the uh, small advantage of being uh, much easier to implement in practice. So now, as a last contribution, uh, we also provided a construction for the stateful model. Uh, a stateful circuit is essentially a circuit with a memory cell. Uh, and, and uh, such a memory cell can be seen as a gate uh, which will output the previous input and uh, store uh, the correct input for the next execution. Uh, for example, you can see, uh, you can, uh, see a stateful model uh, as an external uh, input and output wires. For example, in a um, block cipher like uh, IES, uh, such state will be uh, representing the key uh, of the protocol. So now uh, we are dealing with more execution and so the adversary can move its probes between uh, the executions uh, and also we can judge the movement of uh, such probes uh, according to what he see what he what he have seen uh, from the output of the previous one so it requires some more um, countermeasures uh, in uh, ESWV uh, each memory cell is uh, simply uh, perfectly t private transformed okay uh, so with the classical perfect secure uh, countermeasure uh, with number of share t, uh, 2t uh, plus 1. Uh, that makes uh, their overall cost of the circuit uh, to 3 to the 3 log t times the number of the memory cell, as represents the number of the memory cell. Our contribution for the stateful model uh, will take into consideration a randomizing uh, network. Um, it's one of the cases where the picture uh, it's a better explanation of uh, any words, but I will still try my best. Essentially, it's a network composed by uh, log two of L uh, layers. And in each layers, 
the, the, let's call it uh, each uh, hemp layer, the information in the ETH and E plus two hemp wires are swept with independent probability one over two, with half probability. That's not enough. We, we needed to uh, implicitly uh, compute the index position for our proof. Uh, since, uh, if you remember, uh, in the stateless model, each gate will, will uh, generate and process explicitly the index position of the set of uh, L wires. Uh, to avoid that, uh, we simply add the cyclic shift, which will not change their overall cost, and uh, uh, make such uh, index position implicit. And essentially, uh, that's how we dealt, uh, we deal with every cell, uh, and we can save a, a quadratic uh, cost. In fact, our complexity uh, will be quasi-linear uh, times, of course, uh, the the number uh, of memory cell, uh, and uh, the proof, uh, which that that's uh, um, t. Uh, statistical, uh, statistically private, uh, essentially uh, it's based on the fact that the swap is performed for uh, all the layers uh, and in this way at the end of the last layer uh, the output uh, index uh, is randomly distributed so the adversary cannot take advantage of any computation. And I think we are in the conclusion part. So essentially, uh, to summarize, we propose to you a first improvement for the uh, wire shuffling uh, control measure, uh, an improvement uh, which is uh, somehow uh, practical, even if uh, with a, crossing a crossover point at uh, around uh, six uh, um, thousands. And I will conclude uh, with sort of uh, um, thought for mind. Uh, such implementation is still completely impractical for embedded uh, system. Uh, for example, like a smart card. Uh, and the open uh, question is, uh, can we still uh, save and make it practical even for dead devices, uh, uh, reducing the random uh, in the circuit. Uh, so using a pseudo-random generation and the cop set of uh, L locality. And with that, I think, uh, yes, that's all. Thank you very much. And uh, see you online at the conference. <laughs>